my first AR-15 rifle at the advent of the first assault weapons ban. And it was a Colt. And I had that Colt for about three months and sold it for a Bushmaster. And at the time, Bushmaster was the number one selling AR-15 manufacturer in the country because of quality and because of quality. Uh, Navy SEAL teams mainly used the Bushmaster at that time. And so over the years, Bushmaster really gained a huge reputation for being one of the best AR-15s on the market. Now, Bushmaster was founded in 1973 by Richard Dyke and continued business under his leadership until 2006. Then it was bought by the Freedom Group. From 2006 to early 2011, all the Bushmaster rifles were continued to be made in Wyndham, Maine, but then it was moved to New York. Now, Richard Dyke still owned the Bushmaster facility, and most of the employees that were still in Wyndham, Maine were no longer employed by Freedom Group. And so in 2011, Richard Dyke came back to Wyndham, Maine and began a company called Wyndham Weaponry. This particular Wyndham Weaponry carbine is the MPC. It's your basic stock carbine. And there are a lot of different features you get with this. And one is, which is very evident when you first get the rifle, is the really nice case. You also get one 30 round magazine, has Wyndham weaponry on the base plate, a six position collapsible stock, a removable carry handle so you can put optics on here without any trouble, you get a nylon sling. The handguard is a little different, it's an oval shape so it really fits the hand very well. Which this is a double heat shield which really keeps things cooler. You also get a very detailed owner's manual and you get a Wyndham weaponry catalog. Now one of the things that I noticed right up front was the really nice anodized finish on these rifles. These lowers and the uppers match really well. The trigger guard is aluminum rather than your plastic. The lower is a 70-75 T6 aluminum, which is one of the strongest in the industry. The rear sight is one of the A4 dual aperture, 300 and 600 meter sights. The front sight is your standard A2 fixed sight. It has an M4 barrel, which has the standard cuts. Uh, of course, the M4 barrel is a 14 and a half inch. This is a 16 inch barrel. The barrel is a one and nine twist, which really is suitable for your standard plinking loads, anywhere from 45 to 69 grains. And right here, you can identify that on the barrel with Wyndham Weaponry 5.56 and one and nine. A2 flash hider, has a bayonet lug if you're able to have that in your state. Of course, it has the sling swivel here. Now, some of the budget rifles that we're seeing today is minus the dust cover and the forward assist, which, of course, this has both. We're going to take a look at the interior of the carbine, and one of the things that I noticed right up front was the ease in pulling out this takedown pin, and it is the same with the front one. It's got the correct amount of tension on this. And a lot of times you'll get them where you have to really work to get this pin out, even have to drive a punch through it. And this was just the right tension. It wasn't too sloppy either. Now I'm going to warn you ahead of time, I have not cleaned this rifle, and I've put about 500 rounds through it. And that was by design because I wanted to look at the gun itself as is. And so we're going to take a look at the interior. There are no tooling marks. Everything is well finished. The bolt is made from Carpenter 158 steel, which is really strong. An MP and HP tested. So uh, it gives you a little more quality assurance. The gas key is properly staked. Now the barrel is 451 chrome moly vanadium steel and it does have the M4 feed ramps. Now a couple of advantages of a chrome line barrel is that it wears longer and it's easier to clean. Now the receiver extension tube or buffer tube which is known as is a commercial model and the way you know it's commercial is that you have a slant right here at the rear and what that does it matches the slant of the buttstock. Now the walls of the commercial are slightly thicker than your mil spec buffer tube and also on a mil spec this is a more defined uh, angle here. Here we have a slight taper that comes up and that's on your typical commercial buttstocks. I have both commercial and mil spec buffer tubes and I've never had any trouble out of either one of them. The commercial buffer tube is a little thicker. You can't put mil spec stocks on a commercial buffer tube and if you put a commercial stock on a mil spec buffer tube it'll rattle a little bit but most companies are making commercial and mil spec parts I know Magpul has a whole line of both if you don't like it it's very simple to just take off and change now the original Bushmaster design was their first generation rifle and it was more of a stamped receiver with a piston driven system very similar to the AK 
So it was kind of like the best of both worlds, and that was one of Richard Dyke's uh, brainchilds. Of course, that was discontinued, and they went full on with the AR-15s, and they did one more bang-up job. Here's one of my original Bushmaster rifles made in Wyndham, Maine, and I have two of these, and they are my oldest AR-15s. Now, the Bushmaster is called the XM-15, and this is the E-2S. The Wyndham weaponry is the model WW-15. And I like to dress up my rifle sometimes. Here's an AB Arms uh, front handguard that I really love. Ho grip, a, a CTR Magpul stock, an arm swan sleeve. But if you're looking for a great basic rifle right out of the box, you can get it at Wyndham Weaponry. And this MPC is excellent. Now, Wyndham Weaponry also makes a line of California compliant rifles, and they also make the uh, CDI, which is a more of an optics ready rifle with a lot of great features. And they've just started making a carbon fiber model, which is the SRC. Wyndham Weaponry, AR-15. When Wyndham used to be Bushmaster back in the uh, back in the 90s, they made some outstanding rifles. You know, you could take their uh, their service model A2 rifle with a 20-inch barrel and put a free float handguard on it and go and shoot a NRA service rifle competition and be competitive. With their new stuff that they're coming out with now, the new Wyndham weaponry rifles, uh, they're quality-wise or they're comparable or better than what they used to produce back in the 90s. Now because of the quality and the tight tolerances, you get really good accuracy at 100 yards, open sights. But the MPC also does very well with rapid fire. And I want to give a big thank you to HPR Ammunition for supplying the 223 for this review. Number one, it's super high quality ammunition. And also, just as important, this would have been a really short review without their help. Now, they have the best warranty in the industry. And it guarantees against all manufacturer defects and workmanship for the lifetime of the purchaser. And then that is transferable. The MSRP on these rifles is $1,040. But I've seen a number of sources online where these run in the $850 range. And that is an exceptional price for a really high quality rifle with these features. Because I've owned a couple of the original Bushmaster rifles, I am really a big fan of Bushmaster, the originals. And I understand that some of the quality has not kept up with their tradition. But with Wyndham Weaponry coming on the picture, I'll just be honest with you. I was really looking forward to getting this Wyndham Weaponry and checking it out. And... Guys, I have not been disappointed. Go over and see Tim at the Military Arms Channel, and I'll have a link right here. He does an excellent review on the Wyndham Weaponry Rifles, and he also does a factory tour that is really good. So check out Wyndham Weaponry, and I have the link down below in the description. A lot of different models. They're adding quite a bit regularly and making some of the highest quality ARs right out of the box on the market. Wyndham Weaponry, thumbs up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. That's one of the founding principles behind Whip and One of the things that Whip and Windery says they do with their rifles is and one of the things though that and one of the things and one of the things up front that you this is the EMP. Now this is the e, now this is the whip now this particular model is the MPC. This would have been a really short review without their help. <laughs>